Okay, it's uh, eight o'clock. It's my final breakfast. A nice bowl of mixed fruit, some meat, which I'll make a sandwich with for lunch, and fresh roll and coffee. And the sun's just popping its head up. I haven't got a decent sunrise or sunset yet, and the whole time I've been in Argentina and Chile, which is unusual. Anyway, got a seven hour drive today, uh, so I'll have a quick breakfast and get off on the way. Okay, I just arrived in my apartment in Conception. Problem with the apartments is that they, this is on the third floor, there's no lift, very hard to find. Anyways, the double bed, it's self, sort of self-contained, it hasn't got a stove, but it's got a microwave, toaster, uh, fridge and a kettle. So I can make my own food and uh, shower and toilet. It was $60 a night and it's just for one night so it suits me. And I've got private parking just downstairs so perfect. So I just arrived at the new, it's called Hostel uh, Os Osmo. That's the town I'm staying. It's brand new. I'm the only one staying here. There's uh, what, one, two, six units, and uh, I asked for the bottom floor because I think we'll have to lug the case up. It's secure parking. I'm the only one here. Fifty dollars a night. You can smell the fresh wood. It's very simple. I've got a double bed. I've got a table with coffee, a jug, uh, some ooh, old chalk, old English toffee. That's interesting. Uh, sugar and TV which I don't need oh you just put it on um, simple bathroom toilet and a bath oh bath and shower so just here one night and tomorrow I go across the border back into Argentina Okay, this is uh, some sort of checkpoint. I think it's one of the frontiers. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here, but well, I can't believe it. Got through in about 10 minutes. Two windows. Not a word of English. Just a bit of throwing my hands around, making a few words. And I got through. Oh my god, thank god for that. So I'm back in Argentina with all these trees. It's just been so green the last three days, which is nice, but uh, kind of boring. It's just all the same. Anyway, we've just got a, almost three hours to the hotel. It's, uh, what is it, um, 11 o'clock. Going into the map. I've only left Chile, I'm not in Argentina yet. There must be like a no man's land or a, some sort of buffer zone. So, I've got to keep going anyway. A lot of dead trees around here. the map I am passing into Argentina right now there you are Buena Chile it says uh, see you later Chile or something Parked, uh, something or other. well this is it <clears throat> and now we're to Argentina 
easiest border crossing ever. And back to Argentina's rough roads. Chilean roads were really good, well looked after. Must be a richer country. Look at all the poles up to mark where the snow line is. There's a lot of snow at this, this height. through the Argentine border 50 minutes of nervous wait no one spoke a word of English and they were looking for that missing document again which was there but it was only half half full scap so anyway we got through a little quick check and uh, we're back in Argentina officially it's compulsory in Argentina to put your lights on all the time, which is a great idea. I always do it in Australia, and a lot of countries it's compulsory, and it makes sense because it's easier to see a car with lights on than a car that hasn't, especially if it's a dark car on a dark lane when there's not much sun. There's lots of people hitchhiking, and not many people getting lifts. I've seen that's about the sixth person I've seen.